Hello, everybody. Welcome to part two of Brett's. Um, what are we calling it? I don't even know. Random. Random. Let's just call you randomness. Okay. If you haven't seen part one, I suggest you do first. So this whole thing makes sense. It will then make sense to you. So I'll put it up somewhere on the screen, hopefully. Um, so let's share the screen and go to the wheel, the magic wheel that knows everything. So we're down to nine songs. I will spin the wheel and see what we are blessed with. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay, the Water Boys Hole of the Moon, acoustic. You mean acoustic? Uh, yes. yes. Acoustic odds cover. Right. Yes, Never yes. heard of this. What 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 have we what have you got for us here? Okay. So annoyingly, like there's only two two eighties kind of songs on there come up there. So Water Boys eighties band. Um this is their well known song Hold of the Moon. Um it's probably one of my top five favourite songs. Um and if it was more common on karaoke machines it'd probably be the song that i'd sing at on karaoke's i've got here the acoustic odds cover uh because the cover I heard during lockdown and it's one that they did during the pandemic um i just thought it's a really nice sort of cover i really like the song there's not much more to it that it's probably one of the more boring ones from the list that's been picked here but that's the way the um, <laughs> random spinner goes um let's see what you think of the song so uh, do you feel like there's a bit more pressure now? Because like the, the previous song we did, you were not, you know, you did it mainly for the video. Whereas this one, it's a song you actually really like. So, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I know, yeah. Because, um, yeah, there, there's definitely. Um, so maybe I can just enjoy it for the sake of song. If no one else enjoys it, then there we go. That's the way it goes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Apologies for the... Um, the connection issue that we have at the moment. Um, hopefully it will sort itself out as we go along. So let's check it out. I'm just going to pause it here. So I've got a few questions for you. Thanks. So uh, who are these people in the pub? Who's doing it? Who are these singers? The guy, the musicians, who are they? Yeah, um, no idea. I believe they go known as um, Acoustic Odds. Um, right. That's what they are. I think just a bunch of random guys like music <laughs> and uh, cover songs. And this is one of them. So they're called Acoustic Odds. So... Who sung this song originally then? Uh, it's originally done by a band called The Water Boys. Oh, that's what you had in the original thing. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Water Boys. Ah. Uh, okay. So I quite like this actually, to be fair, so far. Um, sounds okay, like my, cool. my type of thing. Not that I've heard the Water Boys version of it, but this sounds pretty good. Love to hear that. Great. Too high, too far, too 
It's funny because you, you kind of mentioned at the beginning that it's not really about the video, this one, you know, you just like the song, but I actually quite like the video for this. It's, it's uh, really kind of depicts a sort of traditional sort of working class British pub. You know, it's like, a proper, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And I think the story, I think behind this is to represent, so this was then recorded during um, the first sort of lockdown when you weren't allowed to be in pubs and stuff. So how they filmed this, that I don't don't know. But I think the idea, you'll see a thing towards the end where, or how it started when the pub was empty. So I think it was just showing, you know, you know how things, how pubs were missed during the lockdown. True British style, forget about the supermarkets, forget all the necessary yeah. stuff. The fact that pubs were closed was a, a big, big deal for, some, for a lot of people. <laughs> okay. You saw the whole of the moon He doesn't look like a singer, does he? He just looks like a your average <laughs> bloke. This guy just just being the part. <laughs> Absolutely, but he's got such a good voice, um, and it's hard because I I think the reason I want to just pick this one because it is a good part. I'm not saying it's better than the original because it's one of those. I think the song is as good as because of the original, but this is a really really good kind of thing. He sings it really really well. And probably if I was singing this character, it's probably what I imagine in my head I would love to probably sound and be like yeah. if I was to do it. You just knew I saw You saw the whole of the moon The whole of the moon Yeah, baby Oh, no unicorns and cannonballs Palaces and peers Trumpets, trials and tenements Wide oceans full of tears Oh, flags, rags, vagabonds Cinnamons and stars Every precious dream and vision Underneath the stars Yes, you climbed on the ladder with the wind in your sail. You came like a comet, blazing your trail to reach too high, too far, too soon. Oh, you saw the whole of the moon. The way he's singing it, it's like, it's almost like he's at a football match. <laughs> like he's like, uh, his arms in the air, I don't know, it's... You, you feel like you can't feel like you're joining, sort of get up and sort of, you know, it's quite, what's the word, like, not inspirational, but like, you know, get yeah. get you going, kind of, it's yeah, fine, yeah. <laughs> very much like in football. Yeah. The whole of the moon, yeah, baby, and now unicorns and cannonballs, palaces and peers. Trumpets, trials and tenements Wide oceans full of tears Oh, flags, rags, vagabonds Cinnamons and scars Every precious dream of vision Underneath the stars Yes, you climbed on the ladder With the wind in your sail You came like a comet Blazing your trail To reach too high And not too far And not too soon Oh you saw the whole of the moon.
Mm, yeah, I see what you mean. Everyone's gone. Pub's empty here. Um, yeah, you know what? I really, really like that um, for a number of reasons. Firstly, I like the song. The song sounds good. Right. So I can't, can't compare it to the original, so I don't know the original. Um, and I liked the performance of the guy. I liked the way he sung it. Um, it was, yeah, it was a good good song to choose, good video, good song, something different that I wasn't expecting. So, yeah, I enjoyed that. You can see it put a lot, a lot of effort into it, really good performance. And like I say, it, was a, it sounded like a decent song as well. So, yeah, I enjoyed that one. Definitely much better than the first song that you, <laughs> that you chose. <laughs> Uh, that, that I'm happy to hear. That I'll take every day of the week. That's understandable. Okay, so we done with that one then? Yeah, no, there's much more because I'm just yeah really pleased that you uh, quite enjoy it. I think we do get a chance. It might be worth to listen to the uh, original. But I said it's a very good cover version. Um, and yeah, I think the guy who was singing. You know, it just seemed like a really likable guy, doesn't he? Yeah. The only thing I would say as well, like the so- you said, the songs from the eighties. So the, it didn't sound like an, a particular 80s song. I know he's only playing it on like the piano and he's singing it. So does, this, does the original sound a lot different to that? Um, it, it does sound different. Um, whether you think the original also sounds very 80s, I don't know. Cause, uh, you know you, it's, not, it, it's not as 80s down as the song we heard before, The King of Rock and Roll. But um, it doesn't quite sound... Um, like that, it does sound a bit more modern, um, the cover version. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's Brett's uh, two songs done. I'm going to move on to mine now, and you'll be able to see that video, those two videos very shortly. Goodbye. <laughs>